Once upon a time, in a clear, sparkling river, lived a little fish named Finn. Finn was not your average fish. He was smaller than most, but he had the biggest dreams. He dreamed of exploring the vast ocean where he believed he could find the most beautiful and exciting things in the world. One sunny morning, Finn gathered his courage and swam upstream to the edge of the river. He looked out at the wide, shimmering expanse of the ocean, its waves dancing under the bright sun. Finn's heart raced with excitement as he whispered to himself, Today, I'll start my big adventure. Finn ventured out into the vast ocean, encountering colorful coral reefs, exotic sea creatures, and breathtaking underwater landscapes. Every day brought new wonders. And Finn was filled with eye and happiness. He swam alongside a wise old sea turtle, played hide and seek with playful dolphins, and even made friends with a graceful seahorse. But as Finn journeyed farther from home, he began to realize the challenges of the open ocean. The currents were strong, and the predators were swift. He missed the safety and comfort of his peaceful river, where life was predictable. One day, while exploring a deep, dark cave, Finn spotted a shiny, golden seashell resting on a rock. Its brilliance was unlike anything he had ever seen before. And he couldn't resist the urge to take it with him as a memento of his adventure. As Finn left the cave with the prized seashell, he felt a sudden shadow looming over him. It was a mighty and menacing shark, its teeth gleaming ominously. The shark had noticed Finn's shiny treasure, and it wanted it for itself. Finn swam as fast as he could, desperately trying to escape the pursuing shark. He zigzagged through coral mazes and raced through schools of fish, but the shark was relentless. Just when it seemed all hope was lost, Finn remembered his friend, the seahorse, and its incredible speed. Finn swam toward the coral reef where his seahorse friend lived. With a heart full of hope, he called out for help. The seahorse rushed to his side and offered Finn a ride on its back, together. They darted through the coral maze, narrowly escaping the shark's jaws. Finally, they reached the safety of the river where Finn had begun his adventure. The shark couldn't follow them there because it was too large for the shallow waters. Finn realized that the seashell wasn't worth risking his life. He gently placed it back in the river and thanked his friend, the seahorse, for saving him. Finn had learned that true treasures were not found in shiny objects but in the friendships he had made and the safety of his own home. As Finn settled back into his river, he knew he was the richest fish in the world because he had experienced the wonders of the ocean and had friends who cared for him. He had learned that dreams were essential, but it was equally important to appreciate what he had right at home. The moral of the story is that it's natural to have big dreams and explore new horizons. But we should never forget the value of our roots and the importance of true friendship. Sometimes, the most precious treasures are the ones we already have.